destination dreams actually and around nine o'clock I got a, I heard my phone ring and my answering machine pick up and a friend saying oh I have some good news I'm like oh okay so we know that they, they're coming out this morning then I heard my cell phone ringing and then I heard my phone ringing again I'm like oh, I better get up and start answering the phone and see what's up I told myself that I was gonna do the thing of like just sleep through the little announcement ceremony on television and someone would call me if need be and I found myself sort of waking up at 8 15 and saying let's just watch it <laughs> so I was sitting on my couch you know in my underwear I was asleep in bed uh, because the nominations come out relatively early and uh, I, I get up relatively late so I woke up and there were about 15 messages on my machine so I figured oh that must be some good news and I heard the first message in it and it indeed was I was you know, wiping sleep out of my eyes uh, watching New York one in my apartment I got messages I was sleeping <laughs> <laughs> and I got messages, and my mother got messages. My mother got more messages than I got. <laughs> the publicist for the show, Judy Jackson, called me and said, okay, so I'm scheduling a PBS interview for you, and blah, 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 and I'm like, what, what, what for? Don't you know? I was in front of the television. They say, you know, they said it was gonna be announced at 8.30, so I sat in front of the television, and then they announced Leslie Uggam's name first. And I was so excited. They hadn't even gotten to my name yet. I was so excited I had to call Leslie. I was so excited for her. Viola Davis called me about 8.25 in the morning, screaming, and I couldn't understand why she was screaming. Then finally she said, you were nominated, you were nominated. Then I started screaming. Then my husband said, what's the matter? Is everything okay? Then I told him and he started screaming. So we all screamed together. <laughs> I was on a plane. I was 36,000 feet. I'm shooting a movie in Chicago. I'm doing uh, Sam Mendes' new film. And so I'm flying back and forth on my days off. And uh, I was, I used the really expensive $8, $8 a minute phone to call my roommate to find out. And then I jumped up and down on my seat a little. <laughs> I turned to the guy next to me, but he didn't really appreciate it. <laughs> he was like, what's a Tony? I was laying in bed sleeping, and um, and I got a call from my producer, and I, to say least, it was a wake-up call. You know, I, I thought I was gonna drop to my knees and like pass out. Oh God, I was almost nauseated. I was so nervous. Um, I was just where I am, 15 hours of the day, lying on my sofa with the remote control in my hand, and uh, I, <laughs> I was just you know watching 8:30 in the morning. I was just, you know glued there. I was um, trying to channel surf through the channels trying to find the, the station that the announcement was on but by the time I found it my name had already been mentioned so they did a recap and that's how I found out I I got nominated I was in Washington DC I was in yeah, I decided to escape in case, you know, my name wasn't included on a list. And so I was delighted at 9 o'clock in the morning when I checked my messages and there were like 12. So I figured chances were pretty good that I uh, might have gotten a nomination. <laughs> I was down in Virginia in the Blue Ridge Mountains at my mom's house. And uh, I was going down to see her and my friend called me crying in the morning. Couldn't believe it. I was fixing my dad breakfast and my husband called me. And I had forgotten that they were announcing them that day. And he said, well, congratulations. And I said, oh, oh, God. Oh, my God, are you kidding me? And I told my mom. And she said, oh, honey, this is better than an Oscar nomination. And so it was, it was nice. My golly, you know, I don't remember. But I was in a state of thrill wherever it was.